Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Kane, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In today's tutorial, we have the highly requested keycard door. Keycard lock. Keycard combination. No. Keycard system? Whatever, it's a keycard thing. Whatever you want to call it. But anyways, let's just get straight on into this. So I'm going to be doing the tutorial on this simple iron door, but I will show you later down the line some of the highly requested ones of the 3x3 piston door and the 3x3 flush door. But quickly, I'll be showing you how it works with just a normal iron door. So here we have my tripwire hook renamed key. Yes, I do know it's generic. Leave me alone. But what you do is you click on this dropper. You place in your key. You press the button and then boom, shabam, your door opens. And you just walk through. And then it stays open until you take your key back out of this barrel and then it closes and then to just get out You just walk over the pressure plate and it opens up and then it's, it's locked behind you. It's pretty simple At least iron door is once <laughs> once you get down here It gets a bit complicated, but I'll go over it to try and make it less complicated and you can do it I believe in you and who let's just go straight on to the tutorial So these are the materials you'll need you'll need some solid blocks not necessarily stack but you'll just need some solid blocks. Two stairs if you really want. You you really don't actually need them. But if you want them, I suggest getting them. They're just for looks. You'll need one glass, one barrel, one dropper, one hopper, an anvil, two redstone comparators, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, eight redstone dust, one pressure plate, one button, 21 of really anything. Doesn't have to be paper. Of really anything. You just need to rename it so then it can be used as a blocker in your item sorter. And then two, if you want to make some extra, you know, keys and passes, maybe for yourself or your friends, you want to get some more, but you'll need at least two of any item that you would like to use as your key. I'm using tripwire hooks, but you can use nautilus shells, diamonds, um, heart of seas, dirt. You can really use anything. Just need to rename it to your specific key thing. First, get out your dropper, and either on the second to the left or the second to the right, you're going to punch out the block. I'm going to do it on the right, so right here, one block away from the door. We're going to go around to the back, and in this hole, we're going to place our dropper facing out towards nowhere. Place a temporary block on that dropper, then a barrel on that block. Now you can break the block. You're going to get out your hopper, and you're going to crouch place this hopper on the barrel, so it's facing into the barrel, and this dropper should be facing into the hopper. Now get out all your redstones, your comparator, your repeater, your redstone, and redstone torch, and then one piece of glass. One behind and down from the hopper, we're going to place a piece of glass. On this piece of glass, we're going to have a comparator facing out. You're going to get out your normal blocks, have this comparator going into a block, redstone dust below it. Now we're going to go below the glass so we can get the redstone dust right below the glass. Now the block this redstone dust is facing into, so the one below this hopper, we're going to place a torch. So then it's going directly into that hopper. Now we can get out our anvil. You can plop in your keys and name them whatever you like. All right, you can have them random um you can have them um, you can have them um, a smiley face or you could have it say key like me but you may want it a bit more secretive and then you want to plop in your paper or whatever item you're going to use as filler and then name that whatever i suggest just matching your keyboard so then it's completely random and it's going to be hard for people to guess so now you're going to click on your hopper you're going to place in one of the keys this one is going to be for your own use then in the second slot you're going to place six paper six as you can see and the other three you're going to place five so you can see one key six five 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 so now if we go back around and we go to this dropper we place in our key we also need to crouch place our button on this dropper and we press it we'll see that in our barrel we should have our key next we're going to crouch place a block on the back of this barrel then we're going to go one down and back like so comparator facing out we're going to have this comparator going into a block and then redstone dust right below now we're going to go down and over like so and a repeater facing towards the door in the wall like this we're gonna have this repeater going into a block and then right below that block we're gonna have redstone dust now we're gonna have to hook up this redstone dust to the door so we're gonna go break this block right here and break this block we're gonna have the redstone dust going into the door oop, right there so now we're just gonna go down and hook this up to that redstone like so so now if what we do is we put it on a key we press the button the door should open like so and then we can walk through and it should stay open until we take this key out and the door closes now place your pressure plate all right there and then boom you can walk in and out next you can make it look pretty so you can place in your stairs like so and then just build blocks pretty much wherever should be looking something like so that's the tutorial done let me move on and show you how it is for the other two things so as you just saw the normal door it, it works as I just, just showed you. you. You put it in, you walk in, 
you get your thing. Simple, I already showed you. But anyways, we have the normal 3x3 door. If you would like to make this, I'll leave a timestamp above and link in the description. We'll be placing our key like normal, press the button, and then boom, the door should open. Give it a second. It'll take a little bit because it is a larger door. There it is. And then we can walk through. And then once again, it will not close until I take out the key. And then it'll close, as you can see. And then to reopen it, you step on the pressure plate. Take a moment. There you go. Walk through. And then since there's a pulse extender, it'll wait a little bit, enough time for you to get through, and it'll close as you just saw. So, it is a little bit different than over here with the simple iron door, because things aren't as close together. This, it's a bit spaced out, and a bit more complicated since you have other redstone from the door. So what we have here is we have the, what do you call this, dispenser, dropper, sorry, dropper, goes into the hopper, and then the hopper just leads into more hoppers going up to the side, like the first one, hopper going into the side of the barrel. And then the redstone on the barrel is the same as over here. As you can see, it's the same exact redstone. I actually don't have it a block away this time, I actually don't need it a block away before I did to space out the redstone so it doesn't get combobbled. So this will always be on the barrel. Now before you'll see how there's this one for the item sort or the filter, whatever you want to call it. This will always be on the first hopper. So no matter how many hoppers you have, this will always be on the first hopper and this will always be on the barrel. So you see, we have our filler stuff in here with the key, all sorts of goodness. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. For the pressure plate, we have a simple pulse extender so that it opens up long enough for you to walk through. If you want to learn how to make pulse extenders, it pretty much is just this with the comparator going around like so. You have your pressure plate right here going down redstone to a block and just loops like this. I'll leave a link or timestamp above and link in the description if you want to go to a video to learn how to make pulse extenders. But this is the basics. And then because of the way this door works where it's not always closed and it's actually always opened, we need to add a simple logic gate or a not gate as this is called and you add that so that it flips the circuit to be on instead of off so that means it's closed all the time instead of being open i'm so sorry if you got confused or you're getting confused i'm not the great with explaining this but i'm sure trying my best and i hope that you can at least just watch or look at everything that is built here and absorb it so next we have the three by three flush door as you can see it's, it's even with the wall same thing as last time we plug our key into this dropper we push the button and then I see if we made a moment, it should open. That was a lot longer than a moment, but we walk through. It will not close until we take the key out. And then bam, it should close. Give it, give it a moment. There it is. It'll close. And then to open it back up, just simply step on the pressure plate. And then we have enough time to walk through since there is a pulse extender. Boom. Now it, it is pretty much the same thing as that door over there, but there's a difference. Instead of all the redstone being down below, this redstone is all in the back. So it's a bit more complicated because you need to somehow manage to get all the hoppers around. So this is how you do it. And then you may have to make some minor adjustments to your door. Like here, I had to change this to glass. Here, I couldn't have it straight up into the, the redstone because of the hoppers. I had to make it go off the side and go up like this. As you see, this is normal side where it just goes up like this. But you see, I had to change. But it's the same thing as last time with the one into the barrel and it goes down simple like so. We have another pulse extender, as I said, for the pressure plate. And then once again, it is going into another logic gate, another knot gate. So then it inverts the pulse so then it's always closed instead of being always opened. And then once again, with the first hopper, we have the redstone here and the sorter here. And I'm sure as you can see, this one's a bit more complicated since everything has to be smushed and everything... All the redstone is in difficult spots. But long story short, you just kind of have to have it out of the way of the redstone. You may have to add more hoppers, as you can see here. And you may have to add in more redstone. And you may have to add in more pulse extenders. So I hope this helped in learning and trying to figure out your own keycard system. If you need any help whatsoever, you can either leave a comment or if you would like even more help that's more helpful, join the Discord and you can chat with me and other friends. Now, I know you can ask some of my Discord community. I'm not very active. I try to be active most of the time, but if you know, if you just give me a little ping, I swear if any of you spam me, that won't be looking good. Ah! We can go into like the Minecraft chat and you can ask for help from other people and from me. So, you know, join that in the description. And if you liked any of the doors that I showed here, as you can see the 3x3 one and 3x3 flush one, I'll link those in the description. That's pretty much it. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.